Hey, my <laughs> powerful MVP family. How are you guys doing? Goodness gracious me, today is just an interesting day. Uh, it's Easter Sunday. My daughter's just left here. My son was here last night. Had the kids yesterday. <sighs> Came up from Jamaica, but it's still cool here. It's not nice and sunny yet. <laughs> So boy, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I probably just need to go to bed right now. But anyhow, the reason I came on here to do this video, my daughters came and um, collected some stuff that I brought back for them. But guess what, guys? I forgot the sugar cane in the refrigerator for them. Uh, you know, my sister in New York, I did send sugar cane for her. My brother got sugar cane, but um, I brought back a lot of sugar cane. But I forgot to give the girls their sugar cane. My son took sugar cane as well. It was a lot. Ah, oh boy. But anyhow, remember in Jamaica, I spoke about honey, right? And I wanted to just prove the point that I was making. Um, so let me turn the camera lens. So look at this, guys. This is honey that I had bought um, for the table. You see that? It says... Pure, fancy honey clover. Pure, fancy honey. See the biggest word there, the big word that is most highlighted, honey. Look at the bottle, guys. See so that, that's all sugar grains. Look at that. So you use it, and after a while, you can get these things out because it is so thick with the sugar. So I'm going to turn it around for you so you can also look at the label here. And look what I found. Right? It's a sodium 0%. Right? So one tablespoon is the serving size. But let's look at the sugars, guys. Look at the sugars. 17 grams of sugar. Imagine that. 17 grams of sugar. Jehovah, my Lord. You see, that's why when you go in to buy these things that you have to just spend a moment to read what's there. 17 grams of sugar. And I just needed to highlight it for you so that carbohydrates, total sugar. Did it? Yep, a little bit of yellow. 34% sugar. So can you imagine you buying something and you're saying honey is good, it is healthy, it builds the immune system, only to know that it's just sugar going into your system, you know. So again, that's what it is, guys. See, all of the sugar grains, you can see clearly that those are sugar grains. See that? Sugar grains. See it? When you try to pour it out, it is just thick. I cannot get it out. Right, that's it. Hard grainy sugar. And so that is why I had sent to us. See how it comes up to the neck? I had turned the bottle upside down. And that's how you have the thickness on the side um, for it to come down. So again, that's what I have to say to us, guys. Here we have honey from Jamaica, and every time we get honey from Jamaica, whether we buy it ourselves or, oops, whether we buy our hands need lotion. See how dry my hand is? It means that water touched my hands today, guys. <laughs> People always say, if you want to know if somebody bathed, look and see how ashy their skin is. Ashy means that water touched the skin. Yeah, I, I water did touch the skin. So again, this honey, I don't know the people, but let me tell you something. When we get honey from Jamaica, 
it is used up to the last drop. Every single drop of honey is used. There's my logo. Become a stronger, better. Stronger, better you, one pound at a time. Right, so I just wanted to highlight that again, guys. So when you're buying your honey, you're buying honey because you say it's healthier than sugar. So make sure you read your labels so that you're not buying sugar and drinking, using it up a lot, thinking that you're really, really getting the real deal to build your immune system. Again, remember, honey has a lot of nutrition, um, nutritional properties to it. Um, sometimes you're allergic to it. If you're allergic to it, please do not mess with it. I'm allergic to it. Um, so I don't put it in teas or anything. I use a little bit of brown sugar if I need to, or I just drink the hot water, um, the boiled water. I just drink that in the morning. So, again, honey. And Jamaica, that's a honey too. <laughs> right, not just, not, not a real honey, that a honey too. You know, there's honey. And then... No, sorry. There is honey, pure fancy. And then there is honey. Hear the difference? There is honey. And then there is honey. Powerful. <laughs> oh, my people. So listen, just make it a good, good evening. Make it a great evening. Much love to each and every one of you jump out this evening we it's at the end of another month god has made us has kept us safely so we're here to to end another month and so remember to go over to beth brown's channel and support her guys help her to get to 1000 she's almost there the work is still going on i'm proud of her she's on the grind trying to make sure she get the watch hours Please, please just run her little videos, guys. Select some of her videos. I did create some playlists for her. Just select one or two playlists. Let it just run on your smart TV. Just let them watch. Just give her the watch hours. So please support, guys. Support her. She deserves it. Tonight we see after her vacation that she did the dinner for, the, for those who are in need. Beautiful. I'm sure those people are happy because we were getting so much messages about when is she coming back? When is she coming back? So she's back, guys. And as I said, she's going to I have to talk to her. I don't know if she went last week to get her food handler's permit, but we are making sure that that is in place. And as, as we continue onward and upward, so much love, my people. Love and respect to all of you. Go out and support. Support Jamaica K. Oh, Jamaica K lifestyle. An awesome human being. This morning she sent me a voice note. And I was just crying, just crying. Um, She's the person with little Kayla. And I must say to you guys that soon as, um, soon as my brother heard that we're looking about something to send to her. The barrel is not for Kayla. Things are going to be in it for Kayla. But it's food stuff to help Sister Dawkins, you know, provide for Kayla. So it's not like Kayla is going to get a barrel and she's going to be in charge. No, she's a child who is under the care of adults. So the barrel is going to the adults and they will um, take care of her. So when they're looking for shampoo, we're looking for um, wash body soap, you know, um, dishwashing liquid, soap to wash the clothing, you know, towels for her, you know, little underwear, undershirts, couple of jeans, some sandals and some good dress shoes for church. Little things like those. Tonight, my daughters came. They gave $200 towards Kayla, two gift cards. They got two gift cards. They handed over to the project. Uh, my brother, I came in when on um, Tuesday night. Thursday, I had 100 pounds of rice ready for Kayla. And as I said, we have a lot of books. We have a lot of um, pencils, a lot of pencils. She's a school-age kid, so we have those. My son did promise to get her a tablet. So if you have anything, guys, to just send to help buy cereal and all of that. Yes, we know it's in Jamaica. 
we're packing the stuff here will allow them to get a better quantity so that it can last a lot of times you know we, we <laughs> it, it's not easy but um i just feel like with the barrel we can put so much more some toilet paper i do have a big case of toilet paper and another case in there and i can send some of that because it's needed you know when you have a, a, a another body join you want to have those things so peanut butter things like those um that can give her a sandwich or so um i have two i don't know how many gallons there if it's two or three gallon apple juice so those are little things that are adding up already my son also brought some snacks for them i didn't go through the baggers yet to see what's there but i know that it would be appreciated so as I said, guys, the GoFundMe is still there. I'm going to drop the link just so that if anyone wants to donate anything towards just the barrel to go down for her for now, then please do so. Thanks for all your support, guys. Thanks for everything. Little J Plays, please go over and support her as well. She's growing. I noticed that she's at 300 and something subscribers, so she is growing. And again, guys, don't matter the content. You know, the content is not going to hurt anybody. Go in and support people. Just support. I'm not telling you to go support people who are, are vicious and saying mean, ugly things. But if it's, you know, it's a game. The game is not going to hurt anybody. They're not, you know. Just let us remember, as I said in the video this morning, that if Christ, when, you know, if Christ was partial, then none of us would have been saved by his grace at all. You know, because we say things, we do things that is not... You know, it's not conducive to Christianity. And we, sometimes we don't even realize we have done it. But he still loves us. He still died on the cross for all of us. He didn't separate anyone. He says, whosoever will, let him come. And so, as I said, words do not have meaning. It is us who give those words meaning. So if I if I say... D A M N. If I say dem, and I say it in a in a good way, it can only become negative if you said, "Oh my God, are you crazy? Why would you say such a word?" The word dem is just letters D A M N, but it only becomes a bad word when we put that make it looks like a bad word. Words are innocent until we put meaning to those words. So remember, just go and support Trending Live TV, the Jay Jordan. I thank you guys for supporting, supporting. And so please go over and support them as well. Um, Jet, my dear Jet, please enjoy her, her uplifting shorts. There's nothing hard and, you know, it's not too much. It's just short videos that she put out encouraging and empowering us on a daily basis. All right. So guys, if you can be good, be careful, walk good, do good, live good. Remember, judge not that he be not judged. Remember, Christ started writing in the soil when they brought that woman and said, yeah, she's committing adultery, she needs to be stoned to death. And Christ then just asked them why they want to stone her. He didn't ask them if any of them had the, was, was righteous enough. He didn't do any of that. He just write in the stuff in the dirt. He just started writing the dirt. So again, a lot of times when we point in fingers and we sometimes we just need to stop and look at the writing in the sand in the dirt. And remember that if any of us is without sin, then we can be the first one to talk about people, put people down, or cast a stone at them. So let us be careful. Let us be careful. Let us show love. And leave judgment to God. And in the meantime, go out and see which honey you want to buy. Do you want to buy pure fancy honey clover? Or do you want to buy the real deal straight out of St. Bess, Jamaica? Um, you make the choice. Much love, my people. Much love to all of you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.